NASA is getting ready for deep space exploration, but there are unknowns like what a nearly two year Mars mission will do to the human body. Yes, we're getting some answers. However, ABC 13's Nick Natario live in our newsroom with how a record setting mission will help astronauts go even further. Could you imagine being up in space for nearly a year? Well, Mark Vandehei just did that, and he hopes that the aches and pains he's feeling now will help future astronauts. Touchdown. After returning from space, NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei couldn't wait for Earth comforts. What was the first thing you did or ate once you came back to the Houston area? Maybe it's the fact that I had had guacamole for 355 days. But that guacamole was amazing. A taste he craved because he spent so long in space, a historic mission filled with numerous experiments. There were some requirements for me to eat a minimum amount of fish. I like fish, so they actually had to tell me to eat less fish. The biggest contribution may not be what Van de Heij did in space. It might just be what doctors discover with his body. But I fully expect for the rest of my life to be getting checked out, and uh, that information hopefully will be useful. NASA is preparing for Artemis missions. Astronauts will go to the moon and by 2040 to Mars. In order to get there, it'll take months. Van de Heij spent nearly 12 months in space. When he returned to Earth, it took about eight hours until he could walk. A week later, he still has issues. There are some aches and pains that I did not have before that I'm getting lots of help in resolving. Van de Heij's mission also shows what happens below may not impact above. Russia threatened to abandon him in the ISS after the U.S. imposed sanctions for the war in Ukraine. Van de Heij says it didn't ruin his relationship with Russian cosmonauts on the ISS. Ultimately, he returned to Earth on the Russian capsule without any issues. I'm really looking forward to the next person doing something longer um, and us uh, getting further and further away and exploring more. So I, I want this to be remembered as a stepping stone. Now, even though he was 250 miles above Earth, he still had access to social media. You can see his Twitter page right here. Despite this, though, he did not see the tweets from the Russian space leaders that threatened to abandon him on the ISS. It was actually his wife that alerted him to those tweets that appeared on social media. The good news is that didn't happen. He's back in Houston and enjoying that guacamole.